Hello! Today I'm filming my jeans collection. These are all of my jeans. You could say I have an addiction. I love jeans and I want to show you guys all of my favorites and what we got going on here. I already have a video posted on my TikTok that shows my favorite jeans and it's just me trying them on. It's very quick, very simple, but this is going to be me kind of going more into depth of why I like them, prices, where they're from, the way they fit, the links to them. All of the above is going to be in this video. I'm just going to start from this side over. We go from my black jeans onto like my more neutral creams, whites, um, and then into all my blue jeans and then all my colored jeans. Start off this is like my holy grail pair of jeans. Fits me better than any other pair I've ever tried and I have been looking for years and years and years. I just came across these probably like a year ago and I now have them in one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. So I like them a lot. These Zara wide leg jeans, when I tell you that I don't think I ever am going to find a pair of jeans that fits me better. I don't think I am. Um, so like I said, I have them in a million different colors. This is just a black pair. It has no rips, just good for dressing up if you need to, but also very, very cute. I wear them out a lot. I would say the way my body is has made it hard for me to find jeans that fit all of the different areas correctly, if that makes sense. I have like bigger hips and thighs and my butt is on the larger size as well then I have a pretty small waist so finding jeans that kind of don't squeeze this area like super super tight but then also don't have that huge gap back here um, has been a struggle and these have been the best thing that I can find for that type of body. As far as sizing goes I am 130 pounds I'm 5'4 and I just kind of described my body type to you and I wear a size 6 in all of these. I would say as far as jeans go in the past I would normally have been like a 2 or 4 probably around the 4 range. Um, so I'm glad that I decided to size up to the 6 in these because I'm not sure if they just run a little small or what the deal is um, but I also find that jeans tend to shrink sometimes when you wash them. I try not to dry my jeans so that they don't shrink but I feel like sizing up is always a better bet than sizing down, so if you're around the same size as me, I would go for a size 6. They do come pretty long, which I think is really nice because if you are on the taller side, then they'll fit you like right away and be such a nice fit, but I'm 5'4", pretty short, so I do end up having to cut probably like an inch and a half, I would say, off of them. Just mentioning for all my short girls out there, you will probably have to cut an inch or two off of them. So I have this light wash. I have a darker wash that has rips in them. And then all of my colored jeans. Actually, I lied. These aren't the wide leg jeans. These are different. I'll talk about these later. But these two are. So then I have them in the orange. And then I just got this pair of pink that I'm pretty sure they came out for Valentine's Day. Um, I didn't really get them for Valentine's Day. I got them just because I like the color of them and I, like I said, love the fit of them so why not get them in every color possible. For all the Zara jeans, I think they're very affordable for the quality that you're getting. They're like $49, so 50 bucks. 10 out of 10 recommend checking them out. Okay, next I have another pair of black ones that are a little bit different. They have rips in them, so they're a little bit more casual, laid back. Um, they also aren't completely wide leg all the way down they kind of like taper in a tiny bit I honestly forget where these are from I will make sure to find them and link them below but I got them for Christmas like two years ago I don't wear them as often but they do fit my body type really well they taper in at the waist so I don't have like I don't have that gap back here like I was talking about I like these they're a little bit stretchier um, so they're easier to work with on sizing and I think they're around $50 to $60, I believe, so they're pretty affordable as well. Then I have this pair of overalls, which I guess isn't technically jeans, but it's a jean material, so I wanted to include them. These are from Pull and Bear, and I kind of just like thought they would be fun. I've worn them a couple times, but it kind of has to be like a right occasion type of thing, the right weather, um, but I just think that they're adorable. They're like these tan 
overalls. I pair them in the winter with like a sweater or turtleneck and I think it's super cute but I think in the summer they could be so fun just with like a swimsuit top and like have like one of these hanging down like running around with them on um, or just with like a tank top on but I love these. Next I have a few like lighter cream and white pairs. This first pair is from Target. It is the vintage straight cut jeans. Um, I think they were pretty cheap, like around $25, $30. So again, Target's like very affordable. And they taper in a little bit more at the bottom and they're a little bit cropped, I would say, compared to the Zara ones. Then I have this white pair, which is from Express. And I'm not gonna lie, I like hardly ever wear these. I think white is just like such a hard color to wear for pants, especially this is like a true white. I had originally bought them for sorority recruitment because we were required to wear a pair of white um, bottoms with one of our outfits. So that's like really all I've worn them for. They're a little small on me as well and they're skinny jeans and I just don't wear that style as much or as often. But I will say they are really good quality. They're from Express so they're nice jeans. Um, I think they're around $40 to $50 as well. So if you're looking for white jeans, check out Express. That's all I have on those. Next I have like quite a few pairs of this like same wash in this light blue. I believe my favorite wash of denim and I think it's the easiest to style compared to darker wash. Then the Zara ones I already showed you. I have a pair of Levi's and these actually are my aunts from when she was my age. I don't have the exact link to these ones, but I have found very, very similar pairs. I also cut these a little bit at the ends because I wanted them to have kind of that distressed look. These are just like the perfect kind of boyfriend style, baggy, um, just vintage looking jeans. Also just the perfect light blue shade of denim. Then I have this pair from Revice Denim. I've heard so many good things about this brand, so I wanted to try them out. I think I bought these about two years ago. They like don't fit me anymore, sadly. I think I may have just like washed them wrong or something because they fit me so well. And I don't think I've like gained weight. If anything, I might have lost weight since when I first got them. So I don't know if it maybe is my body and maybe I'm just whatever but they're really cute I wish that they fit me better and I just keep them because I hope that one day maybe they will fit me better but if that's not the case I honestly might give them away soon or do something different with them just because they don't get used very much but I do think that they're really good quality um, this is the only pair of jeans that I've ever bought from Revice they are a little bit more on the expensive side and I think that's what kind of turned me away from buying another pair is knowing that they're so expensive and that I don't want to buy another pair and end up like ruining them or having them end up the same way where I just like can't wear them anymore but they are super super cute um but yeah those are those wait that wasn't even them that whole time I was talking about this pair not that pair I mean, you can't really tell much of a difference, but Revice, these are the ones, not those ones. I'm just holding up the Zara one. Okay, these are another pair of Levi's that aren't vintage. These I actually bought about a year ago, I would say. I wanted another pair that wasn't like super, super wide legged. Um, so they are more on the skinny jean side and they have a little bit of rips in the knees. And then again, just a little more cropped at the bottom. Um, I just thought that these would be good for just work or I don't know if I wasn't wanting to wear such a baggy wide leg jean these were good and they're also just again super nice quality really like kind of stretchy price wise they're Levi's so uh, I don't know I can't remember I think around maybe $60 or so then we have oh I guess another pair of Levi's these I actually got gifted to me three or four years ago it's been a while um they are from the company redone so these are like like when I when they sent these to me and I looked at the website I was like holy cow like I don't think I could ever get myself to spend that amount of money on a pair of jeans but they're really cool. They are like vintage old Levi's that this company kind of takes 
and like redoes them and like makes them really nice but I just don't wear dark wash blue that much um, and they are just kind of on the skinny jean side of things and I just haven't been into that lately. Last pair, these are Zara again. These are some of the most flattering jeans ever. They are like super, super wide leg. So they flare out just a little bit more at the bottom than the regular Zara ones. And they also have this really cute, like bigger white button on them. They don't have pockets. And I just realized that today. So that's kind of a negative about them. But I love this color. It's like a teal greenish. They're not too, too bright and out there, so they're easier to style, but they're also just kind of fun. I hope that this was helpful for you guys and kind of helped with me going a little bit more in depth about everything. If you are new here, please subscribe if you like this. I will be trying to film and post more content similar to this with fashion. Um, and getting more into stuff like that rather than just always uploading vlogs. So if you want to see more fashion content, make sure to subscribe and like this video and comment and all of those things. But I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!